Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa ba'asum maqam al-mahmud an al-lazhi maratuh. Innaka la tukulifil mihad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه صلوا عليه صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله ربي في الله رحمان رحمان السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي خلق الإنسان في أحسن التقويم وأمرنا بالتقوى والخلق الكريم وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا أبره ورسوله اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فيا عباد الله اتقوا الله اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون مجيء Blessed Friday Congregation Let us increase our taqwa to Allah سبحانه وتعالى for it is with His grace that we are able to live harmoniously on this earth. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the time and opportunity He has provided us. For the strength of Iman, 
for the gentleness of our hearts and the consistency in our deeds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala count us all among the best of his servants. Amin ya rabbal alamin. My dear brothers in Islam, in light of the blessed month of Rabbul Awal, let us honor the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam by reflecting an example of his beautiful character and his approach to living in a society. It goes without saying that a mu'min must emulate the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in all his actions to the best of his ability. In today's sermon, I would like to share with you a hadith which I believe is beneficial and extremely relevant to the challenges we face in our lives today. A companion of Sahaba of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Ibn Umar radhiyallahu anhu tells us, one day Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked his companions. Can you think of a tree whose qualities are similar to that of a mu'min? So, the companions began answering with the names of various types of trees. Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu then said, It crossed my mind to respond with the dead palm tree. But I was hesitant to answer as there were many companions other than I. When the companions finally settled down, the Prophet said that tree is that of the dead palm. Hadith reported by Bukhari and Muslim. In another hadith, the Prophet wasallam further elaborated this similarly by saying, Mathalul mu'min, mathalul nakhla. Ma akhashta minha min sha'in nafa'aka. Which means, the mu'min is similar to a dead palm tree. Whichever part you take from it, it is sure to be of benefit. My dear brothers, <coughs> the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam drew this comparison because it is required of every mu'min to consistently provide value to whomever, to whomever he encounters, just like the dead tree. A Muslim must always strive towards being a productive member of society. There are many verses in the Quran and examples from the, from the hadith that instruct us to have a positive impact on others. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Al-Hajj, verse 77, A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu rka'u wasjudu wa'budu rabbakum which means, Oh, you have believed, bow and prostrate and worship your Lord and do good so that you may succeed. If you look or if you reflect at the Prophet Sirah or his life's history, we may find that the Prophet did exactly just like that. His entire life, was filled with good and charitable deeds. Anyone who reads the book Ashama'il al Muhammadiyah, written by Imam at Tirmidhi, will be amazed by the Prophet wasallam extraordinary etiquette and conduct. When Rasulullah wasallam spoke, he made sure that no one would be hurt by his words. The compassion in his heart was felt by all, regardless of their age or rank. He treated the young with courtesy and love, and he respected the old, the old rich or poor, all had a place beside him. He ensured that whomever he interacted with would be inspired and felt, and felt the warmth of his heart. Maybe we should ask ourselves, do we have these characteristics? Have we emulated what have Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us? In, it is this trait, my brothers, that we must cultivate within ourselves and our families. 
Beloved brothers, life within our social, household and professional spheres require that we interact and cooperate with others. We are not alone in this world. It is not uncommon to find that when dealing with other people or exchanging views, instances of misunderstanding may happen. Or that various suggestions may be brought to the table if such if is the case. Should we insist on our opinion without even considering theirs? What then should be the proper way to address such a situation? My dear brothers, if you look at our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, how he interacts and communicates frequently with his companions, asking for their ideas and encouraging them to voice their opinions, he would then take all of them into equal consideration. In fact, when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spoke, he would use respectful language and polite mannerisms. He was always receptive to his companions' feedback and would listen even to the advice of his wife. This is the proper attitude to bring to a conversation or discussion. When we adopt the prophet's approach, we become aware of the flaws or mistakes that we might not have otherwise noticed. This allows us us. This allows us to analyze any given situation critically from different angles and perspectives. In addition, being open-minded provides us with peace of mind as there is no enmity or bitterness or hatred between us. Not only that, he, gave, he gains the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the love of his creation. In a hadith narrated by Ibn Abbas, the Prophet wasallam mentions to a companion named Asyaj Abdul Qais Inna fika khoslataini yuhibbahuma yuhibbahum Allah al-hilm wal-ana Which means Within you are two qualities Allah's love Soft-heartedness and calmness What I have shared what I have shared today is a common trait or behavior among many of us, and this includes the asatizas, teachers, lecturers, leaders, and many others. Do we have the sense of openness in receiving any feedback or even criticism? Or we just brush off the feedback and feel offended and hurt them with sarcasm? Do we even consider our wife's views when dealing with important decisions? Do we believe in mutual decision in a husband and wife relationship? If we do have a mutual decision and common understanding between husband and wife, it will add more barakah and blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Both will be happy and our life will be even more blissful and easier. The Prophet himself sought the advice from his wife, Ummu Salama, for instance. Feeling more motivated every time he received encouraging support and motivation from his wife Hadija, radiallahu anha. And who are we? If you want to compare to the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Moreover, so we are not perfect as we do not know everything as we always claim to be. My dear brothers in Islam, to add to everything mentioned earlier, all good deeds and beneficial acts that we perform to others, we will be rewarded in kind. Let us listen to what our, what our Prophet wasallam had promised in the Hadith and and whosoever is ready to aid his brother or assist his brother, Allah will render his aid. Allah will render his aid or assist to him or help him. Hadith reported by Imam Bukhari and Muslim. With that, my brothers, 
Let us increase our good deeds. Let us make this month a month of productivity, servitude, charity, and courtesy toward everyone around us. Whether we know them or not, let us follow the footsteps of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and end our quarrel and disagreement. Our quarrel and disagreement, and let us cultivate ourselves with compassion, mercy, graciousness, and kindness. May we be inspired by the character of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and adopt his approach towards living together as a society. And in return, be granted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala assistance and rahmah in this world and the hereafter. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alamin. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim. Amin. Wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bima fihi min al-ayati wa zikri al-hakim. Amin. Wa taqabbala minni wa minkum tilawatahu innahu huwa sami'u al-alim. Amin. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astawfru Allah al-Azim li wa lakum. ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات فاستغفروه فيا فوز المستغفرين ويا نجاة التائبين آمين يا رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم وزد وأدم وأنعم وتفضل وبارك بجلالك وكمالك على زين عبادك وعصرف عبادك سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ورضي الله تبارك وتعالى عن كل صحابة رسول الله أجمعين اللهم أنت رب العالمين الحمد لله الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا كما أمر وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له إقرارا بربوبيته وإراما لمن جحد به وكفر وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد أبره ورسوله سيد الخلائق والبشر اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه مصابه الغور أما بعد فيا عبار الله اتقوا الله تعالى فيما أمر وانتهوا أما نهاكم أنه وزجر My dear beloved brothers Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa sallam is a prime example of noble traits and mannerism to us all and this is clearly reflected in his interactions with the community Amongst his notable traits is the act of being charitable towards those who are in need of assistance Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam would donate whatever that was within his capacity to assist those who came to him for help. On this blessed Friday, we are granted the opportunity to follow in the footsteps of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam by donating towards a charitable cause. Donation boxes for Madrasa Asagaf Al Arabiya has been distributed at mosques throughout Singapore. This yearly donation drive is of utmost importance to ensure that the madrasa has sufficient funds in order to conduct beneficial and conducive educational programs. Your meaningful contributions, regardless of the amount, are deeply appreciated by students who will benefit from your act of charity. Therefore, I call, I call upon all who are present here today let us not miss such an opportunity that has been bestowed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The chance to emulate Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by being charitable, particularly with institutions that contribute towards the growth of this ummah. May our donations grant us endless reward in the hereafter due to the knowledge and akhlaq that is continuously taught and practiced in the madrasa. Ameen. Ya Rabbal Alamin Allahumma salli wa sallim Ala Sayyidina Muhammad Wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad Ala sallu wa sallimu Ala Nabi Mustafa khairil anam Faqad amanallahu Bithalika haithu kala Fi kitab al-aziz Inna Allah wa malaikatahu Yusalluna ala Nabi 
Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu Sallu alaihi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik alaihi Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammad Wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad Kama sallayta wa sallamta ala Sayyidina Ibrahim Wa ala ala Sayyidina Ibrahim Fil alamin innaka hamidun majid Warda Allahumma in khulafa irrashidin al-mahdiyin Abi Bakr wa Umar wa Uthman wa Ali radhiyallahu an wa an baqiyatu sahabati wal qarabati wat tabi'in wa tabi'in tabi'in wa tabi'ihim bi ihsan ila yaumiddin wa anna ma'ahum wa fihim bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin Allahumma fil lil mu'minina wal mu'minat wal lil muslimina wal muslimat al ahya'i minhum wal amwat Allahumma a'li bina kalimatal islam warfa' bina rayatal qur'an Allahumma inna nas'aluka an tufaqqihana fi dinina wa an tu'allimana ma yanfa'una amin wa an tu wa an tanfa'ana bima 'allamtana Allahumma iftah lana fathan mubina wahdina siratan mustaqima wa ansurna nasran aziza wa anshur 'alaina rahmatak wa anzil fi qulubina sakinatak rabbana atina fid dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adzaban nar ibadallah Inna Allah ya'mur bil 'adli wal ihsan wa ita' wa ita' idzil qurba wa yanha 'anil fahsya'i wal munkari wal baghyi ya'izukum la'allakum tadhakkarun fadhkurullaha al'azim yadhkurkum washkuruhu 'ala ni'amihi yazilkum was'aluhu min fadli yu'tikum wala dhikrullahi akbar wallahu ya'lamu ma tasna'un aqimu as-salah Allahumma salli 'ala sayyidina Muhammad wa 'ala sayyidina Muhammad الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا إله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم كما الله لا إله إلا الله أكبر أولى علي العظيم استو استو للصلاة وترسو وتدلو وتقربو يرحمني ويرحمكم الله لرأس ستريتنا وصاف إن في لب Lurus in front of us, insya Allah. Lapakan barisan dan luruskan soh. Istawaina lillahi tuwa wa inna. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawmiddin Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqim Sirat Al-Lazina An'amta Alayhim Ghayri Al-Mawdubi Alayhim Walad Tanin Amin Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Sabih ism rabbikal a'la Alladhi khalaqa fasawwa Walladhi qaddara fahada Walladhi akhrajal mar'a فَجَعَلَهُ رُثَاءً أَحْوَى سَنُقْرِئُكَ فَلَا تَنْسَى إِلَّا مَا شَاءَ اللَّهِ إِنَّهُ يَعْلَمُ الْجَهْرَ وَمَا يَخْفَى وَنُيَسِّرُكَ لِلْيُسْرَى فَذَكِّرْ إِنَّ فَعَتِ الذِّكْرَى تَذَكَّرُ مَنْ يَخْشَى وَيَتَجَنَّبُهَا الْأَشْقَى الَّذِي يَصْلَى النَّارَ الْكُبْرَى ثُمَّ لَا يَمُوتُ فِيهَا وَلَا يَحْيَى قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا والآخرة خير وأبقى 
إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى الله أكبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا لك الحمد الله أكبر 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 بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هل أتاك حديث الغاشية وجوه يومئذ خاشعة عاملة ناصبة تصلى نارا حامية تسقى من عين آنية ليس لهم طعام إلا من ضريع لا يسمن ولا يغني من جوع وجوه يومئذ نعمة لسعيها راضية في جنة عالية لا تسمع فيها لاغية فيها عين جارية فيها سرر مرفوعة وأكواب موضوعة ونمارق مصفوفة وزرابي مبثوثة أفلا ينظرون إلى الإبل كيف خلقت وإلى السماء كيف رفعت وإلى الجبال كيف نصبت وإلى الأرض كيف سطحت فذكر إنما أنت مذكر لست عليهم بمسيطر إلا من تولى وكفر فيؤذبه الله العذاب الأكبر إن إلينا إيابهم ثم إن علينا حسابهم الله أكبر الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا لك الحمد الله أكبر 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 أدى تحيات المبارك صلاة السلام عليكم السلام السلام عليكم السلام عليكم
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Astaghfirullahal azim alladhi la ilaha illa huwal hayyul qayyum atubu ilayhi Astaghfirullahal azim alladhi la ilaha illa huwal hayyul qayyum atubu ilayhi Astaghfirullah al-Azim Al-Azim La ilaha illa Wal hayu qayyum Atubu ilayh La ilaha illa Allah Lahu la sharika lah Lahu al-mulku Wa lahu al-hamni Yubi wa yimit Wa huwa ala kulli shayun qadir La ilaha illa Allah Lahu la sharika lah Lahu al-mulku Wa lahu al-hamni Yubi wa yimit Wa huwa ala kulli shayun qadir لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين حمدا يوافي نعمه ويكافي مزيده يا ربنا لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك اللهم صلني على سيدنا محمد صلاة تنجينا بها من جميع الأهوال والآفات وتقضي لنا بها من جميع الحاجات وتطهرنا بها من جميع السيئات وترفعنا بها عندك على الدرجات وتبلغنا بها بها أقصى الغايات من جميع الخيرات الحياة وبعد الممات آمين. اللهم اشرح لنا بالقرآن العظيم سرورنا ويسر لنا أمورنا آمين. وأسن به أخلاقنا آمين. وأنظم به أجورنا ونوض به قلوبنا وقبورنا يا رب العالمين آمين. اللهم إنا نسألك رضاك والجنة ونعوذ بك من سخطك والنار اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا ولوالدينا وارحمهم كما ربونا صغارا اللهم إنا نسألك رضاك والجنة ونعوذ بك من سخطك والنار ربنا هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أعين واجعلنا للمتقين إماما اللهم اغفر لنا ما قدمنا وما أخرنا وما أعلنا وما أسررنا وما أصرفنا وما أنت أعلم به منا أنت المقدم وأنت المؤخر لا إله إلا أنت اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من عذاب القبر ونعوذ بك من فتنة المسيح الدجال ونعوذ بك من فتنة المحيا وفتنة الممات اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من المأثم والمغم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا هسنة وفي الآخرة هسنة وقنا عذاب النار ودخنا الجنة مع الأبرار عزيز غفر يا رب العالمين بفضل سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة أعوذ من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين أمين الله من رحمن آمين يا رحيم ربنا ربنا تقبل صلاتنا ودعنا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ولا تأخذنا بالعظائم والجرائم يا كريم دعوهم فيها سبحانك اللهم وتياتهم فيها السلام وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين تقبل الله منا Allahumma salli ala Muhammad Ya Rabbi salli alayhi